and uh, so the, and uh, this fee can be later be either burned or transferred to the treasury. So essentially, just a, a tax for every transaction. On Solana, it is not possible. So you can do your own token on Solana with this feature, but the wallets will not recognize this token because the wallets are uh, working only with standard SP SPL tokens on Solana, and they oh, do not man. have this. And they do not have they do not have this option. And so, in terms of game design, what what this actually means? We still need to set up revenue streams, um, and uh, they have to be tied to some token uh, exchanges. So, like unstaking fees or marketplace transactions fees. But instead of having one simple single, uh, just a small marketplace, uh, just a small fee on like selling tokens, you need to set up multiple features, multiple features, which takes time to develop. And uh, that's, it just increases time and cost of development. So that's the major issue with Solana. And uh, if we're targeting like a free to play style game, what we want to be, uh, the bigger player base means that we can just tax a very small fraction of a uh, uh, transaction fee if we if we would be able to use like features on, e on evm chain we would be able to tax just a small amount of um fee on every transaction and with big enough player base this will like generate a lot of uh value and this will drive the token price up so we can just burn it or use it or store it in the treasury for uh, other purposes so that's the point Okay, yeah, so man, I feel you. Solana sucks with this uh, inability to have this option because you can't be tied to some other marketplaces. You should have the royalty fees inside of the contracts itself. Yeah, so I agree with your uh, thoughts on that. Yeah, it is possible for the NFTs, which is uh, out there. So the NFT has like 5% royalties. It's uh, out there. It is uh, automatically updates on every transaction and it stores in the treasury that's working but that's not possible for the token and that's the problem um there is an option like velas chain it is a solana fork but they have like evm compatibility layer uh with these options but the better thing uh, the better option is to go so okay i'm gonna spoil it a bit uh and uh, this is not like 100 percent confirmed yet but it seems like that miria which uh Want, wants to be a competitive of Gala Games, wants to onboard our game as uh, like the founder's package game. So one of the first uh, of uh, six games they will be shipping and uh, launching uh, once the lo blockchain launches. Uh, Miria, it is an EVM compatible blockchain. It's just to think of like Gala Games, but the guys behind Miria, these are just uh, super, um, super skilled guys uh, from all around gaming industry they have like uh, guys from activision from electronic arts uh, from epic games so the the team behind miria is just amazing and uh, yeah they made an offer they want us to be on miria chain and they will help us with uh, marketing with the new players so my thoughts on this actually uh this would be very beneficial uh for the project and for the price of nfts because they have like 300k community already and these are gamers not uh, not flippers uh, like mm, not pfp projects like most of solana nft projects are pfps obviously um, but this is a dedicated gaming one uh, gaming blockchain it is built entirely for the gaming transactions and uh, it has a, a lot of uh, you know, stuff that we might use but on top of this, uh, they provide marketing support, the uh, go-to-market strategy, they provide the whole community. And uh, if we transfer our NFTs to their blockchain uh, and we introduce this like 1500 NFTs to an entire gaming community, which uh, actually bought uh, this, um, they, they, they were selling their Miria nodes, they were selling, the, uh, they were minting uh, free mints for the Miria NFTs, etc. So it's just, a, uh, there, there is an opportunity for a much bigger price action than we see right now. So everybody knows that, like, uh, mm, 
it, right, what's happening on Solana right now. So most of the projects are PFPs and uh, gaming projects are not performing so well. And we saw like uh, basically, especially in this market conditions. So uh, this is one option and we're thinking about it. So this is kind of the best option for us. So um, not to try uh, build this everything on our own, but partner with a really strong partner uh, they can introduce us to any kind of marketplace, to any kind of partner in the in the space. Uh, they can provide the gaming community what we need. I think that's a that's a that's a good deal. But this is not like 100% confirmed. Uh, I will update you like next week next week about this. Yeah, Mirai notes people are very nice and they very pro their project is very good. I, I've been talking to those people because we had a sale of uh, Mirai notes uh, as a part of investing uh, thing. So yeah, I've talked to, to those people. They're really great. And at this market conditions, you should probably be looking for a good partner because right now all the paid ads, shilling, influence advertisement is just a waste of money because uh, market yeah. is in fear and you know you need to be looking for some long-term partnerships uh which can bring more players and uh new members to to your project so actually even if this idea is really critical i mean migrating to another chain but if you feel that it's gonna be better for the project we're all gonna support you yeah thank you and uh Obviously, we need to do things that is better for the project. We need to, to bring more exposure to the project. We need to bring more players, and we need to choose the most efficient ways to do this. So, especially in this market conditions, yeah, as I said, so we need to have like a strong partner with us. So this might be a really good uh, thing to do. Um, so what else uh, do we have? Like, uh, uh, we we we're gonna probably partner with. Uh, uh, chain link as well so i had a call with them mm, so they offer uh, solutions for solana but the, the important thing is it will it will not happen like in a um, in the coming weeks because uh Miri blockchain is not uh, out there they postponed their tge because of the market conditions so it would take time um uh, and uh, we can build on back of, uh, on the back of it so um, probably uh, we'll, we'll continue working on Solana, uh, we'll launch staking features, at least some of the staking features on Solana, and then we do the migration if we choose to do this. Okay, um, so question about uh, staking power. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, the screen I think is running. I'm going to show you what the staking UI looks like. So this uh, this is uh, working on the DevNet. So what what can we do here? So uh, here we can see the full body characters. As I promised, uh, we have ported characters to display them on all marketplaces, and uh, the full body rendering it is available here uh, in the staking UI feature. So we can check the trace details. We can right stake it, and and these are like DevNet NFTs. The naming is uh, not not very uh, correct here, but no problem. So we can actually select. Uh, we can stake NFTs by one, but there is another feature. So you can stake multiple NFTs at once uh, and uh, do what is called a capsule. So staking in capsule allows you to claim royalties uh, from a single uh, using a single transaction from all NFTs stake in this capsule because all the calculations are done uh, done on the back end uh, the amount of tokens you generate so it's all done on the back end uh, unfortunately there is no other way uh, to do this other than making this like a, uh, what we call a capsule so essentially uh, you pack several NFTs into one entity and you calculate royalties for the each NFTs, but they are, uh, but you claim royalties for the whole NFTs in this capsule. So that's the point. And you can claim it uh, with a single transaction. If you do not do this, 
then you need to claim transactions for the for every period uh, when um, so you, you would like if you waited for a month would like to uh, click like uh, 10 times or 30 times on uh, and confirm every transaction so this this is just a kind of ui feature that uh, helps you quickly claim and uh, unlike other projects we're not using backend calculations and because there is a limited space uh, that will available on the blockchain uh, and limited amount of calculations that you can do on the blockchain that's why we need these uh, capsules so test capsule okay approved transaction uh, so nfts they have different staking power but this will not uh, be launched uh, this will not be available at launch actually we'll update this and uh, staking power features will be launching a bit later uh, but yeah the the multiplier is not li uh, linear uh, so legends they uh, they will be probably like 10 times more powerful than dividends but uh, the progression is not linear so the challenger is not as twice as better as uh, one debutant uh, character and the fighter is not like uh, x3 so there will be an article about that uh, i think next week yeah article uh, is coming about staking features but uh, so by staking you generate special rewards tokens so these tokens you would be able to use later uh, to participate in vr headset raffle this is one thing another thing you would be able to use this to uh, you would be able to swap these tokens for boss fighters tokens once we launch the token hopefully we can launch the token in q4 when the market recovers but right now it's uh, just not an option to launch the token like a nine uh nine week straight uh bear market so once we see like a few weeks closing with the green candles then we might uh, talk about uh, tg and uh, ido round so there is also a minimum uh, rewards period uh, rewards timer uh, uh, this is to incentivize to stake nfts for longer so right now it's seven days essentially you need to wait you need to stake and wait for seven days to claim rewards the rewards are uh, calculating every every day essentially and they are constantly adding up but you cannot but you cannot claim the rewards until you wait for at least seven days and then just after seven days you can claim rewards like on day on the eighth day or ninth day and uh there is no limit up to that yeah but what happens if you migrate to another blockchain uh, what, what's going to happen with all these rewards tokens and all this staking stuff we will just migrate this all stuff to another blockchain so that's what we'll do will uh the nfts will be transferred to another blockchain and burn on burnt on solana blockchain if we decide to move to another blockchain and the same thing will happen to this uh staking features etc oh, by the way the staking page looks so pleasing uh, it's like you know almost perfect ui ux design not like other gaming projects uh, because most mostly the gaming projects staking pages uh, they look like shit, but yours it's it's really looking very beautiful i like it thank you thank you yeah we we're doing our best to deliver the best graphics and uh, actually we're working on the arena on the final visuals of the arena hopefully i can sh i will show you in the coming weeks how the arena looks like right now uh, yeah so we have like this capsule uh, you can uh, and this is also a way to organize your collection essentially so this uh, royal royalty tokens what we call so what we also gonna do next we will tie the royalty tokens value to the amount of secondary market sales so the treasury from the secondary market sales so if we check like uh uh magic even yeah they haven't updated uh the cash or uh, fractal so the the volume uh and five percent of all sales uh they go to the treasury and half of this treasury essentially belongs to community so the amount of your royalty tokens generated through the staking accounts to 
uh, how much of a share you have in this uh, treasury. So we'll introduce a liquidity pool later on. Uh, and that's why I also think it's a good thing to migrate to another blockchain that is really hyped, uh, where community is really hyped about new games. So this might bring a lot more value to the NFTs, just, uh, just the, the fact of a transition to this chain and with the help of uh, Miria's marketing team. Uh, not to mention like when we launch the game and uh, the demand for NFTs will naturally go up. So essentially staking NFTs generate you a share in this, uh, in this treasury from secondary market sales. That's how they work. That's one of the <clears throat> first features that will be introduced for the staking. Obviously, the NFTs, they act as uh, keys to unlock certain features in the game. And uh, just yesterday, we were discussing um, with our gaming advisor, uh, Igor Antonov from Game Lot, uh, what, uh, what, what the, the tiers of uh, access tiers would, would look like. But essentially, while the NFTs, they unlock all of this stuff. So uh, if you're familiar with uh, free-to-play games, they have like battle pass features, they have starter packs, they have uh, stuff like uh, small daily uh, rewards or uh, daily unlocks. All of this is available for NF Rowdy NFT holders right from the start and uh, the tournament access as well. Um, speaking of tournaments, I'm gonna unstake this. <clears throat> uh, when game launches in August, uh, tournaments will not be available at launch because we first need to balance the game. So it's uh, like uh, we need a balance pass. And obviously, nobody wants to play the unbalanced game, especially uh, when the money is on the table, uh, when you bet in money. So it will be a period like a few months of testing, iterations, uh, tweaking the balance. And then we can uh, launch tournaments. And for that, we have a special program working with the gaming guilds. So we'll be onboarding more and more gaming guilds joining this. Um, and these NFTs will also act as uh, ways to bring referrals to the system. So essentially, you would be able to issue special referral links and uh, bring people that register using these referral links that your NFTs provide. Uh, you would be able to earn partial part of the winnings uh, when tournaments go live. But this will happen this year. So uh, like most of the game features will launch this year. Okay. So what else do we have? Uh, I think we have some updates for the in-game UI we're working on. Uh, I'm gonna show you right now the update ui and uh, i'm really eager to show you the the new abilities of characters we actually have weapons for the boss working right now but uh, yeah i don't want to spoil it yet because we we also need to update the visuals for the arena so everything looks really cool and nice um okay i'm gonna just give me a moment to to display this properly. Okay, okay. So, I um, need to change my screen. Change windows. So this is a, uh, a preview of the UI. So we have response. The character has several response. When you deplete all response, you cannot respawn. You basically dead forever. You have hit points. You have uh, special abilities. Uh, you have your weapon, and uh, obviously boss hit points. And there is a timer. So if you if the team of fighters cannot kill the boss in time, the boss wins. So that's a quick preview of the UI here. Mm, what else? What else uh, do we have? Yeah, I think that's the, the, the major, all the major updates. What we, um, yeah, the Solana is really giving us a headache because of the DevNet unstable. We're spending much more time on, uh, we, we, would, uh, we would launch the 
the stake in feature like a few weeks earlier if not the problems with solana so when to, instead we we spend our time to uh set up our own devnet and work with this uh but yeah hopefully we can release this next week the staking feature so you will be able to start earning these royalty tokens uh the conversion uh, the exchange uh rate for boss fighter tokens is yet to be established but uh obviously the more tokens you have the uh, bigger cut uh the, the bigger uh buy buy of boss fighter tokens you get later when we release it and the uh, better your chances to win the vr headset uh vr headsets uh raffle probably will happen in july maybe in august uh somewhere closer to the uh to the game launch ah, one uh one cool fact i would like to share with you um so in the so i've been working on the presentation for investors uh for fiat investors so we probably we because we want to and for publishers because we want to uh bring more web 2 gaming community we want to work with the publishers and uh i've been looking uh, for the mm, going over the data about free to play vr games so actually there are not so many free to play vr games and we want to, to be one of this uh, one of these few free to play vr games but guess what uh they have so many installs so one of the first uh, one of the few free to play vr games the lab uh it is obviously it is a valve's game yeah uh, everybody knows uh, what valve is uh, and this is just a set of uh, like vr experiments but it has more installs and more users than the whole blockchain gaming community it has more than five and a half million installs so almost uh, like the size of the whole blockchain game community another game uh, which is also free to play in vr uh, it's called gorilla attack it is a very simple game uh, it is a vr exclusive game uh, running on quest and uh, on all other vr platforms where you're just uh, running around as a gorilla uh, with a voice chat the game built up by uh, kids has uh one and a half million installs it is a free-to-play game it is really shitty but uh for some reason people find it really fun so actually going free to play going on steam or on egs gives us a really really solid chance to build up a huge community and that's what we are going to to start doing like really soon so by the end of june we'll be launching a steam page we'll be launching a side quest page and uh, other um, vr and gaming marketplaces will be releasing the page there and we'll start like adding to uh, we'll add the button add to wish list so we'll start building this kind of uh, community um yeah being a free-to-play game in vr Guarant almost guarantees you a huge community which is really cool that's what we need yeah okay so hit me with questions uh -huh, last ama game statistics uh game statistics uh, so my guess is this is the thing like how many bosses you killed how many damage you uh, you dealt this is really important and it is in development because actually uh so first of all it is important for the progression system because we'll have like the battle pass uh, with the free lane and the paid lane uh familiar to free to play players and some of these quests or challenges on the battle pass on the on the daily quests they will be tied to certain in-game actions so and for that we obviously need to track uh in-game performance so what what are you actually doing in game how many missiles you launched uh, how many bombs you exploded how many times you were thrown through the window how many buildings destroyed etc so all of this stuff uh will be tracked uh the question is where to store this uh thing so whether we store this on blockchain or we store it on uh, or uh we store this on a backend 
this is uh, like still an open question. Uh, we need to confront uh, like uh, in exploits. Mm, so free to play games, uh, especially mobile games are very prone to exploits like uh, you people want to hack uh, soft currency or gold or you know, gems or something like that. And uh, using blockchain gives us uh, an edge here. So we can store these uh, variables on the blockchain, which will be really hard to, uh, impossible basically to alter. And uh, we'll probably go this road. But uh, yeah, it's still, uh, it's still a discussion internally. So it depends on how much resources we need for that. But uh, we'll track the statistics. And it is also important for the matchmaking as well. Uh, there will be special like challenges. Uh, as I mentioned, so you, you need to do a certain amount of stuff to unlock something. So uh, this is uh, all tied to the progression system. Uh, I think important thing about the progression system, it is still in development and it really takes time to develop the robust metagame, what it, what it is called. So it won't be launching in August. In August, we'll be launching like the core gameplay where you can just hop into game, uh, have fun with your friends, play, test the weapons. Uh, and uh, we need this closed alpha to get the feedback from you about the core gameplay because the core gameplay is the, it's basically the, the, the staple of uh, the game. It has to be fun and we need your help to tweak it. And once we have it in a, uh, in a good enough state, then we can introduce metagame progression systems, etc. So that's the plan. Uh, and they will come later this year, like in Q4, probably. All right, all right. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all from me uh, for now. So, yeah, uh, I forgot that I have another call already. Need to hop on another call. Yeah, thanks for the updates, Vlad. Uh, it's all sounds really amazing, and I uh, wish you just don't care about the market conditions because your project is obviously gamified. So if people don't want to play, screw them all. <laughs> right, right. It's uh, gameplay first. It's all about the game, and uh, uh, yeah, we just need uh, players. So for that, we need to ship a quality game. That's all we focus on right now. We need a quality game and then everything comes after that. Yeah, as long as the game is ready and it's playable, I think people should not care about the token generation events and all these kind of, you know, earning, earning ways of tokens because they, they just need to play the cool game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you being the, like, the early adopters and investors, so obviously if the game has like uh, and uh, yeah, I have the data for the presentations uh, where I show uh, partners like 100,000 active players for competitive VR games. And these are only, only VR games. Our game is asymmetric, which actually means that you don't need only VR players. The 100,000 active VR players, and there are only 1,500 rowdies. So just, you can do your math and uh, decide what will be the value of these NFTs later when, when the game pickups. So that's what we're aiming to do here. All right, all right, thank you guys. Um, so we'll be doing this, uh, as I mentioned, regularly, probably uh, twice a month, maybe once a month. Uh, yeah, uh, I would like to stay in touch. And uh, I think next stage, as I mentioned, is to bring more more VR players to the community. We changed our Discord a bit. Uh, it, it's still undergoing some changes. Uh, yeah, we need to welcome our new gamers, uh, new community members, uh, the gamers, uh, to our Discord. Welcome them warmly. Uh, once the page goes live, there will be special announcement. And uh, Lulu, our marketing manager, uh, she comes back from the vacation uh, next week. So we continue. Twitter spaces, all the collaborations, uh, integrations, and the partnerships, uh, everything is uh, going fine with that. So. 
Okay, okay, thank you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, hope you enjoyed the preview of the NFT staking. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, there will be a special announcement when it goes live with all details. But yeah, uh, glad you like the UI and uh, how it looks. Yeah, it's amazing and good luck and see you later next time when you'll be having some a other AMAs. Right, right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you.